Today in the garage, we're talking about books. You know, anything you do, if you're working on cars, boats, you're fishing, whatever you do, you need to read and educate yourself and just be more knowledgeable on whatever you're doing. So this book, Chassis Engineering, I just got done with. I learned way more than I thought I would. I've been around cars for a while, but I always love learning. I'm going to take you through a few pages, show you the chapters, show you what's all inside. Maybe you'll go out and grab yourself a copy. Now I'm just going to do a skim over the book real quick for you to show you a few highlights in there. Here's a table of contents. You can see all the different categories the book's going to go through for you. The first chapter talks about tires and your contact patch. Up here you can see it talks about camber and how camber affects your contact patches. Chapter 2 goes into weight distribution and how your car oversteers, understeers, talks about sway bars. In chapter 5 he talks about springs and shocks and different spring rates, how to calculate that. He's got lots of diagrams and he's real specific. The end of chapter 5 talks a little bit about mounting your shocks and how effective they are at, at different mounting angles. The next few chapters go through the different types of suspension, it being independent front suspension, solid axle rear suspension, independent rear suspension. He goes through all those, the benefits, the characteristics of them, and how it all works. Chapter 13 talks about building a frame. I wouldn't build a complete frame just by reading this, but it does give you a lot of tips and tricks on rigidity and strengthening. Getting into the end of the book, he talks about aerodynamics, downforce, and how the downforce of a spoiler and a front air dam affects the handling of the vehicle by adding weight to different corners of the, the vehicle. It's a pretty short book. It shouldn't take you long to read, and there's a lot of good information in there. I believe if you just pick up one or two things from it, it's worth reading. I recommend you just go out and get you a copy or whatever you want to get into. If you're into fuel injection, carburation, whatever, just go out and get you a book, learn everything you can on it, and make yourself more knowledgeable. Impress your buddies with whatever knowledge you pick up in these little books and uh, just enjoy it. Makes you a better mechanic to work on your car, better technician at work, whatever it is, just make yourself better. Hope you enjoyed the new segment. I've already started my next book, and you'll see that on the next episode of the book reviews. Until then, if you have any comments you want to leave below for me, any books you suggest that I read to improve my knowledge, I would greatly appreciate it. Till next time, keep hot rodding.